which would make you final girl. Well, then who the hell are you? Well, I'm obviously the know-it-all horror guy. Security breach. No. Security. You're not going to want to follow him. Why? Ah. Ah. I'm really surprised she lasted this long. I cannot stress this enough. Stay out. I wasn't even here. Uh, run! <laughs> Would someone give us a secret? What is important here is that we are in a horror movie! You okay? Hey, not, not here, though. No. She's not here. I know. What is it? it just looks like he's staring at me. Step away from Mr. Johnson. <laughs> it's okay, Boo. Give the kitties what they want. That's the good guy. Come on, swoop it. Big swoop on the K. Thank you. Sweet. I got an autograph from you guys' bodyguard. Chad, kids are 20. You've seen it before. Players. Mother. Skopowski? Do you know if there's food here or no? I believe there are hors d'oeuvres, sir. What the fuck's an hors d'oeuvre? gigantic thank you to Adele who just sang that beautiful song I'm just so glad you could be here today and to my friends and family who all made that happen we're all rolling in the deep together it means so much to me that you're here today but it also means I've met my tragic yet likely heroic but clearly untimely demise being beaten to death against a tree while in my sleeping bag. Killed by a robot sent back in time to stop the revolution. Leaving the oven on. Trapped under a vending machine. An ornate puzzle box. Great white sharks. Choking on a chicken bone. Being separated from my conjoined twin. Electrocution. A broken heart. Buried alive. A hole punched through my face by the devil's like impaler. Yeah, that's it. And now a hole in me is a hole in all of you. And I know how hard this is. But you must keep on. You must live your lives. You must persevere. You must stay rad, my friends. Time to go, I guess. Let's get out of here. Oh! 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 
okay? Are you okay? Oh, man. How'd you like to play a game? <clears throat> I mean, how'd you like to play a game? I used to play games all the time by myself as a kid. This one's awesome. You all have been specially chosen to take part in this fully immersive experience like none other before. It's the ultimate Rad Chad recommendation from beyond. But pay close attention. It may just save your life. <laughs> I got you, kid. <laughs> What's that? It's probably just one of the sure to die girls making out in the bushes again, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tony. Got the wrong house again, buddy. Yeah, the New Year's Eve party is next door, and the sure to die girls are all ready for you, I'm sure. If you're gonna borrow our knives, please sharpen before you return. Is she okay? Well, yeah. <laughs> Lori? Lori, honey, you can get up. There was some kind of mistake. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea, Jenny. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bad idea. Guys, I think she's dead. She can't be dead. She was just studying, having no fun doing everything right. Tony? Sally, it might not be safe. See? We are the final girls. Just look at our androgynous faces, khaki pants, and button-up shirts. Killers take us for granted. They don't kill us. <laughs> oh, hey, girls. We're all partying super hard next door, and we just can't seem to find our beer bongs. Do you happen to have any? Uh, yeah. I think we have some in storage in the basement. What is a beer bomb? You know, the sure to die girls thought it'd be pointless to ask, but hey, <laughs> it's almost the 90s. Maybe you guys have changed. I think we've switched places with the sure to die girls. That's crazy. They're sure to die. What's next? Is a boy gonna be the last one standing? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. 
We're no longer being rewarded for being the outsiders. For being smarter than everyone in the room. For being a badass. For avoiding sex till marriage. Okay, maybe not till marriage, but I keep all my clothes on during sleepovers and late night parties. That's just common sense. Yeah, of course. Always. Yes. Okay. Where'd he go? He's gonna kill us all! We need to do something! Um, I can throw on that ugly sweater I've been knitting and be his mommy and shame him. Bad Tony, bad Tony, killer guy! I can stay awake for days. I can go into hypersleep until it all goes away! Hey, you're the badass. Get it together. Nothing makes sense anymore! any beer bongs, but I did find this cool thing. That's a turkey baster. Ellen, <laughs> turkey baster, are you mad at me? Oh, you should try this. This is something different. Okay, I have a plan. So Tony is only killing final girls. What if we use her to distract him while we get away? Look at her, her knees are showing. will make her one of us. She still looks hot. So hot. Okay, so we're just gonna leave you down here alone to uh, do laundry on New Year's Eve. No problem. Nothing is happening. Is he? I have an idea. Of course you do. It is almost midnight, and since the old rules don't apply anymore, what if we, I don't know, party like we've never partied before? That's a good idea. Laundry's done. Although I think I shrunk that hideous wool skirt. Not that Lori needs it anymore. She's dead. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. While you were finally discovering the joys of personal pleasure, I saved you from that guy. Oh, crap. We didn't need your help. We've been doing fine the past two decades surviving while girls like you died tragically, walking alone in the woods, having sex after a friend got murdered partaking in a midnight snack in the dark. 
alone? <laughs> Just kidding. You guys are right. You don't need my help. <laughs> Found the beer bong, Buffy. I did not mean to do that. Leave us alone, you bitch. You had a gun this whole time? Look, I get it. You all survived because your resilience and virginal vaginas gave you the power to fight against the great male gaze. And it allowed you to be that unlikely savior of your community. You, know, you proved their sexist theory that you know, being a good girl meant you were good enough to survive. Catholic guilt, anybody? But also, let's be honest, I mean, letting a lady survive allowed men to spend the entire movie sexualizing and brutally murdering every other woman in the film. Women like me, you know, who had sex, a lot of sex, and who maybe didn't love studying. No, we had no chance. We were lucky if they gave us pants. No, no, please, I'm, I'm very okay wearing this. One, because it's a cheerleading outfit, and cheerleading is a sport. And two, it is very practical for kicking ass. But more importantly, it does not indicate that I deserve to die. <sighs> Isn't it time we all come together and let women be women? Um, look at that gun. How are you even holding that? It's really heavy. Yeah. Welcome to the 90s, motherfucker. Ooh, that was pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Horror fans are so sick. That's what you say to us. And well, maybe you're right. Maybe we are sick. Sick of the pretension. Sick of the world looking down on us because we don't dare turn away from the violent, the sinister, the macabre. Oh yes, and we are sick. Sick of you judging us. And now, a sickness lies within you as well. There's a poison coursing through your veins, giving you mere minutes to put what you learned from the film to the ultimate test. It will do a number on you. Live or die, make your choice. <laughs> I choose live. Yeah. I mean, if it's a, if a choice, right? Yeah. You guys the poison? Oh. We choose live. We got Bert, guys. We're gonna I think we'll be okay. Wait, this is a prank. You all knew Chad. He wasn't smart enough to do any of this. Oi, when it comes to brains, Chad's a dog's bollocks. Maybe it's like a, an escape room or something. I did one of those once on vacation. It's an escape room. How fun. I love escape rooms. The key is we have to work together as a team. I'll be project manager. I think we should split up into small groups and each take a sector of the room. That way, we can cover more ground. Uh, I did one of these once, and the key was hidden in my shoe. Oi! I mean, maybe there's a trap door or something. Oh, great thinking. Okay, let's split up. Um, you, come with me. Now you're a key fixture here, okay? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, are you, are you okay? Might be real. It's just those damn enchiladas. Oh, I gotta take a Brad Pitt. What? Oh. 
Oh no. For you, man. Oh, I'll make it. Oh, you, are, you, are you sure? It's like really bad. It looks bad. You'll be okay too. How can you say that? You're the one that makes me okay. You're the one that makes me okay, Murray. You're my rock. <laughs> Look at me. You always had it in you. You could do this. Believe in you. Really? Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> yeah. This is your fault, in a way. I, I, I hold you a... Oh, what's that? Holy shit. It's a beer pong table. do that if I were you. It's about the numbers. The Benjamins? What? No, the, the creepy hooded guy in the video said that the poison would do a number on us. There are numbers on the sides of the cups. Okay, so we take the antidote, we put it in the cups, and we drink it. Keep away in the correct cup, and you're fine, but in the wrong cup? <laughs> Probably something like that. Okay. So just grab the balls, walk them over, put them in the cups. Force seal is at full strength. No good. That's bad. What are you doing? Chad and I used to be quite the beer pong team back in college. But I need a little... Liquid courage. What number? I... Uh, Twelve. Well, here is to swimming with bow-legged women, am I right? Doesn't hold up. Oh, right. No. Oh. I'm, here, that's you, and... Well, uh, you, here is... No, no, we can just drink. Let's just drink it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Ah. 
done. Are you some kind of a math whiz? No, oh, huh. I was, was Chad's accountant, but uh, I left to go pursue my dreams of working with children. I guess that's, that's all over now. No, don't say that. Were you a teacher? Third base coach. Kids will never know when to go home now. <laughs> he really took charge back there. I like a man of action. You can get to third base with me anytime. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, guys. killer that can't stop, won't stop, driving her mad. <laughs> Get it? Driving Miss Daisy? Oh, we're in another movie. You'll get there. But this is one of my all-time favorite sequels. And sequels are the lifeblood of the horror genre. Wink. So pay close attention, or you might just meet the same demise as Miss Daisy yourself. He is evil incarnate, conceived in hell's womb, born without a soul, nursed by the teat of the devil, spanked by Satan himself. He is the vessel of death. <sighs> My dear Daisy, he is your... Another nightmare? Stop the car. We're almost to my sister's place. I said stop the fucking car, Scott! Your nightmares always resurface around the 4th. You know that. This was different. I'm getting more uh, intense, more real. I have to, I have to go back. The cabin. In case he comes back. Daisy. It's been over 20 years. Maybe. He's not coming back. He always comes back!
We're here. Daisy. My dear Daisy, I knew you'd come. Dr. Castle? You're alive? Do you... know this guy? Daisy, thank God you're here. I must reveal to you, finally, the terrible truth. He is your... Brother. I know. Oh. Oh, you do? Dr. Castle, how did you know I would come here tonight? This cabin and the 4th of July are deeply interwoven into the blood. So into the blood-soaked fabric of the tragic tale on which you and your brother is written. Not only did you come here as children, but it is the cursed sight of the very first night he came back to enact his revenge on you. I remember that fateful day of independence as if it happened in the fog of a bad dream. Fireworks going off across the lake, finding your friends' corpses, hearing your screams, shooting him dozens of times at point-blank range only for the bastard to rise up out of the ashes and give me this! Daisy, I came back here for the same reason that you did. The inevitability of evil's return, karma's killer, fate's fiend, your brother, coming back, one last time. Who the fuck is this guy? After the last time I killed him, I buried what was left out there. I thought that was the end of it. The final kill. The start of a new beginning. Daisy, I'm afraid there's one more thing I must tell you. The bond between you and your brother goes much deeper than merely the blood that you share. I don't like where this is going. Daisy, you are... Yeah, and you didn't shed a single tear. You were too busy crying over your shitty boyfriend, Greg. Greg was a good guy. Greg was an asshole. I'm a good guy, but you never wanted to date me. I cared about you, Daisy. I cared about you too, as a friend. You don't say that word. What word? Friend? I don't want to just be friends. I love you. If I can't have you, no one can.
Daisy! You son of a bitch, you killed your own sister! My wife! You, you're just a dream. Dreams can't hurt you! Not a dead boyfriend. I'm a dead husband. Fourth of July, brother. No, we have to figure out who's doing this to us. Well, don't butcher to me. I'll better cross the pond. Probably this creepy fuck. What, what? You work at the funeral parlor. You gotta be behind this. I'm not. They just have good benefits. I know who it is. His name is Sam. He was the only customer keeping Chad's business afloat. His ultimate dream was to work at the video store himself, but he wasn't, um, right. We all thought that he died when he took an axe to the stomach and all of his intestines. Owie! Come on. There's no way anybody could survive that. You can't kill pure evil. So here you all are, at my best friend's funeral. But why? None of you appreciated the Whore Emporium. Huh? The what? What? Rad Chad's Whore Emporium. Never heard of it. Hmm, no. Uh, 
his masterpiece, his gift to this wretched world that you all let go to waste. It was a video store. <laughs> I kept telling him, uh, brick and mortar is dead. Especially in this yeah, It's just a bunch of dumb right? B-movies. Silence! Okay, this is the shit that I'm talking about. You never appreciated Chad, and you don't appreciate horror. Not you all. No! You don't even know your own privilege. You're a straight white dude who lives at home with his mom. I am a disabled straight white dude who lives at home with his mima. Thank you very much. You're discriminating against me. She didn't discriminate against you. She just pointed out facts. Yeah. OK, just shut up! Just shut up! Oh, Jesus. It is time to play a little game. that I just put inside of you. Can you be like Daisy and pull back the masks that you hide behind to reveal your true selves? Or will you be ravaged from the insides by a swarm of angry bees? Time to get busy. The choice is yours. X marks the spot. I mean, he didn't... He couldn't have put bees inside of us. Well, we were pretty mean to him. You do catch more bees with honey than with vinegar. It's not bees, it's flies. A bee just came out of you. A bee just came out of your arm. Oh, oh there are bees. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, God. The bees are real. The bees are real. OK, OK, what do we know about bees? What do we know about bees? Uh, Time to get busy. Busy as a bee. We, we have to keep moving. I, I don't think that's how this works. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. It's, no. It, if, you, if you stop dancing, the bees start singing. So uh, someone give me a beat. Yes. What are you guys doing? Come on, you need to focus. Maybe we could sweep mail. What? You know, like a chimney sweep. That's still a thing. We're coming back in a big way. Big chimney tried to push us little guys out. But chimneys are recession proof. You should check out my only fans. Those big chimneys. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hey guys, I, I think it's working. I think it's working. Take off our masks. In the movie, the mask was in the dresser. X marks the spot. Come get your goddamn keys. That makes sense. It's cinnamon. I use it in my garden. It kills bees. Oh, since I moved to the city, I can't have a garden anymore. It's relaxing. <laughs> I work for a nonprofit that teaches inner city children how to garden. Oh, it's nice. Ow! Okay, fuck no. Have you guys not seen YouTube, the cinnamon challenge? That shit'll kill us. You guys, I don't think the dancing worked. I think I just made them angry. Ow! One just stung my kidney. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Too late for me. No, you still have time. I'm allergic to bees. <coughs> hey, um, I'm really sorry about what I said about you earlier. <coughs> that really wasn't cool. It's okay. I'm different. But we're all different, aren't we? And that is what makes us special. Oh, that's... So beautiful. Oh, God. And it's time for you all to move on and live your special lives. Yeah. Again? God. Seriously? <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> See you there. I was just reading about Papa's big comeback. Anywho, that last film was a real doozy, wasn't it? But now we have a spooky treat from Across the Pond. It was an early Rad Chad's Rad recommendation. So sit back and hold on to your butts. His instructions said we weren't meant to open this. I probably shouldn't have done that. The curious cat gets the cream. Ooh, I'm not sure that's how that goes. There he is. What are we meant to be looking at here? I see it, in the curtains. What the hell is that? It's the three men and a baby ghost. That's a cardboard cut out of a kid. Open your minds, guys. This is why you've woken me up at 5 a.m. today. Apparently, the kid of one of the crew was messing around on set and then Fell out of the window and landed on some prop swords. They tried to cover it up, but that just made the ghost kid angry. Why were there swords on the set of three men and a baby? Open your mind, Rachel. It's open, it's open. My mum always says if you open your mind too much, you let the bats in. Squawk! Some people say that you can see a shotgun in his hand because he shot himself. So a little kid committed suicide on a film set? Yeah. Grim. And he's showing you the gun. He's showing you how he did it. Ooh, I think they knew how he did it based on there being a gunshot wound in his head. So, did he fall out of the window? Or did he shoot himself? Oh, it, it says here it's just Ted dancing in a tuxedo doing a dog food commercial. In a tuxedo? You know, for fancy dogs. <laughs> stuff. You know we wouldn't let you do this alone. Have you ever seen Three Men and a Baby? No. Come on, it's Ted Danson. Ted Danson? You know Ted Danson, right? Who the fuck is Ted Danson? Well, I guess the song is wrong. Everybody doesn't know his name. Why did your bro live in a lighthouse again? Everyone always used to tell him that his head was in the clouds. Like... I guess this was his way of living up to the expectation. I see what you did there. Cheers. Oh. <laughs>
Zoe, can I have this? Are you okay? Are you sure you want to stay here tonight? Yeah, yeah. I just puzzled why he wanted me to have this. Is that the one thing he said he wanted you to have? Kind of. It's more like he wanted me to take care of it, but not watch it. My brother was into some really weird shit. Woo! I found the remote. That's better. Oh my god. It's scarier when it's ginormous. Is it just me or does he have tentacles for arms? It's you. I think that's just a shadow, Zoe. I mean, we just want to see what we want to see. No, look closer. Yeah, it's not tentacles. It looks more like blades for arms. Yeah, but why would a boy who either fell out of a window or shot himself come back as Super Sword Man? I'm sleeping with you tonight, Rachel. I'll wear my best pajamas for you. Do you want to go? These are your best pajamas. I hope you ride earplugs, because I snore like a guy.
not again. Sorry, guys, <laughs> they got away from me there. That was, uh, that was unprofessional. Whoa, 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 I don't like this. Let's just get... Okay, sinister me, sinister time. <laughs> now let's play a game. So, here's your apple martini and your trope, Mr. Horror Dude. Welcome to prime time, bitch. reached a new threshold and now excuse me as I was saying uh, so I'm off the clock okay could we just have like a modicum of professionalism here okay I mean what kind of shift do you think we're running hey no that's on me I get you let's get back to it Jesus unbelievable Okay, as I was saying before I... As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, it is now time for one of you to walk the path less walkened, not walked a lot or whatever. One of you will take this camera and venture into the depths of horror not yet known and not yet found. Although the footage will be found at a later time. Okay, this is really, I'm fucking this up. And it's because that little fucking freak Whoa. threw me off of my game. And the TV is kind of tugging on my neck a little bit. So let's just get this over with, okay? Go into the darkness and find the key to release your friends. If you succeed, they will be spared. If you fail, their skin will be ripped from their bodies. Oh, and whatever you do, don't stop filming. Now, who among you is willing to make the ultimate sacrifice? Choose wisely. I mean, how do we choose? Uh, we, we could, like, Rochambeau. Excuse me, Bo's dead? I'll do it. Like hell you will. Hey, maybe we should do rock, paper, scissors. Hey, I think you're a fucking idiot. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Get your tiger. Hi, it's Joe. If you always make him pay $50 every day. And you are it. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, here I am. No, 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 you can't do that, Mom. I've dealt with puny men like him before. But look, if something happens, I want you to know I'm fully supportive of 
Wait, really? Love is love, baby. Oh god, watch it, Madman. And now you all lose because you're all losers, every single one of you. It's go time, bitch! Let the suffering begin. Ooh, watch that shit! Watch it! Come on, Mom. Come on. Oh! Oh, God! happening hey everybody all joking aside if you are uncomfortable right now and you've had enough suffering let me know and we'll go ahead and find a way for you to leave early oh god yes please stop gross it's never gonna fucking stop i'm gonna fucking kill you i will tear your soul apart <laughs> ah you're alive very impressive, but ultimately it doesn't matter because you didn't get the key. Sorry, you lose. thinking of it, fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you. And you know what? You're a fucking stupid face. Oh my goodness, I'm having way too much fun. Joel is so stupid right now. Every single one of you are gonna fucking die because you're all losers, every single one of you. I look really cool right now and badass, and you all look really helpless and stupid. like I do. You're making a huge mistake. People don't like you. I mean, look at your face. I just want to punch it. Chad! I'm always here. And I will always be here until you give me the job that was rightfully mine.
All right. Congrats on making it this far in the game. And to think you guys did it all as a team. You are truly doing the Lord's work. And I would know. I was just speaking with him a few minutes ago. Speaking of being dead, you're about to watch a banger. It's about all the things that happen when you mess with dead people. <laughs> Diddle in. This is not the first time Jason died. It was the summer of 1993. Hottest summer on record. We were 12, going on 13. The last year before we became teenagers. Because thieves, they called us. The only thing stolen that summer was my heart. Come on, guys. I gotta get back soon or my mum's gonna kill me. <laughs> He's not wrong. Jason's mum was something sinister. She's the original Karen. If she were a horror movie, she'd be Karen Origins. Sometimes I think we all harken back to the days of... Holy shit! A dead body! Holy shit! A gun. Was that his? What? Shit, no. This is my dad's. He brought it back from Desert Storm. Shot the damn in the face with it. Now he's got one of his lookalikes pretending to be him. Uh, thank you, Ellie's dad, for his service. I think. And, and why have you got it? Because it's cool. Guys, I have an idea. How do we know this even works? Well, it worked on Tabby. He looks like he's seen better days. He has, but life finds a way. Yeah, are we sure this is, like, a good idea? Was climbing Mount Everest a bad idea, Jason? For some people? Look, when are we ever going to find another real-life dead guy? In a couple hours if Jason's not home for dinner. Jason will be fine. Let's bring this dude back to life. Yeah. How long is it supposed to take? Everything okay down there? Uh, yeah! Does anybody want to drink? We've got OJ, soda, purple stuff, Sunny Delight. Ooh, ooh, I love Sunny D. It's got solar energy. No thanks, Dad's mum. We're fine. Okay, then. You kids have fun. I'll just be shutting the door now and soundproofing it for no reason. <laughs> Okay, maybe this time we don't shoot him in the face right away. Sorry, I'm not a trained killer like my dad. I don't want to go for me. It's gonna be okay, mate. I promise we'll get you there real soon. Ah! Oh. 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 Holy shit! Uh, hello, mate. Sorry, I, I didn't catch your name. I'm Cooper. Can you say that? Cooper. Oh. Stop murdering me! Hey now, language.
language. I tell you, I open the soundproof door for five seconds to offer you snacks and I hear you swearing. You don't talk to people that way, do you? No stats, Mom. Excuse me. No stats, Mom. Now that's more like it. Hey, Jason. Your mum called, hun. Dinner will be ready at seven. Best not to be late. Mm -hmm. And whose shoes are these? You better not be trying to reanimate a homeless man's corpse again. Of course not, Mom. Don't make me come down there. That's for Jason. Holy shit, the sword! Right? Some weird shit down here. Are we sure this is a good idea? Oh yeah, 100%. Then you should shoot him in the face right away again. Are you seriously gonna make me apologize for murdering you when you were already dead? All right. Hey, at least his speech is getting better. You're the one who wants to do this to Jason. I mean, it turned this guy into a complete a-hole. No, shooting me in the face turned me into an a-hole. Also, I was always an a-hole. I'm more worried about Jason's mum being an a-hole if he's not on by seven. True, but like... We'll get him a scarf. She won't even notice. But I'll notice. And what does that even mean? Are you doing one-liners? I'm playing on the notion that my idea of fashion is more important than his parents finding out that we killed him. You know, for a dead bloke with a hole in his neck, you never shut up. Guys, we gotta get going! So, uh, it turns out 12-year-olds aren't very good at this whole reanimating a corpse science. And after multiple attempts, we quickly learned that we probably just made things worse. But what do we do now? It's almost seven. Tabby has a calming effect on him, at least. We're gonna need a bigger scarf. It's a transporter! <laughs> Whatever you put in here comes out reassembled on the other side. That will never work. Shut up! All right! This better work. the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Amen. Amen. Nice of you to join us, Jason. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, holy shit! We're so dead. It took some time to adjust, but with eight lives left, Jason would go on to live a full, if unconventional, life. That sweltering summer day in 1993 quickly became one I'll never forget. And although I hadn't seen Whiskers in more than 10 years, I know I'll miss him forever. I never had any friends like the ones I had when I was 12. Does anyone?
And besides, you already knew it was me the whole time, right? So anyways, uh, the game and shit, yes. Uh, you all have bombs attached to your necks. You have to figure out which four movies inspired what you just watched within 90 seconds your fucking heads will explode. Cool? Cool. What did, what did he mean, inspired by movies? Uh, uh, stand by me. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, um, it, it's inspired by Stand By Me. There's kids in a dead body and um, a narration. Oh. So Stand By Me. The movie. It's probably one of them. Sorry. Yeah, it's OK. There was, a, there was another one. The, the, the thing. The thing, because they're doing the experiments in the lab and they bring back to life a cat or a dog or something. I don't think that's it. No, no, that's that's not it. It's not it's not the thing they were riffing on Pet Cemetery. But how could you not see that? Okay, we don't need gatekeeping here. We know what we know and we love what we love. No one's an expert. We don't have time for this. What the fuck now, Sam? <sighs> this is so much better. And to be totally honest with y'all, I'm getting kind of bored, and I really fucking hate you. So I can't wait to see you all dead. Why don't you roll on out here then? <laughs> oh, classic Jesse, always trying to be the hero. I have a better idea. Considering we're getting all up into this third act shit, I think it's time for a good old fashioned callback. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. want them. I'm the one who burned you, remember? Now what do I do with this? Be kind, rewind.
What was that movie? It was the... He, he's, he's like running tests on a fly. What's the guy that's in Jurassic Park? Jeff uh, Jeff Daniels? Or then he like tries to, to splice himself with a, with a fly. We're fine, but this is like an incredible spot I found. He never comes over here. Oh! Oh! Gosh! Oh! 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 oh. The fly! Yes! Good, 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 good. Oh, God. Okay, um, what else? So what other movie? I Do you don't like know! Hey, but there's a talking head. So we need to find it. American Beauty! I don't think that's it. There were experiments it's not and there was a cat. Kevin Spacey and there was green girl. has ruined it. Oh God. That door over there is wide open. We just run. We I keep can't alone. Leave her. Well, I'm I'm fully in the belief that Jesse can save all of us. I mean, have you seen the shit she's doing over there? Just okay. stop, stop. Okay. It's okay. over. Okay. It's over. Well, it's over. over. It's pointless. You just tried to rewind her. It's, it's never over. over. Can you rewind her? Stay here for one second, okay? I'll take a peek out and just. Um, yeah, he's is right that there. A good idea? Yeah, he's yeah, right there. It's, he's I'm not gonna. Literally do right there. Oh, oh okay. Hey. I got it. Rewind then. Yeah. What? 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 We're I'm not running out of time. We're running out of time. I really think that clock is kind of off. Hey. So just. Hey. No, no, no. You can't you have die. To this one. I'm going to find the other Jesse, one. I'm not going to die. And press the it's button. It's your movie. You can't die. Explosion, does that mean Rick is like Yeah. Go, 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 go.
get it. Um, here, hold, hold on, hold on. Ah. Okay. Right. Holy shit! There really was a key in my shoe. Jesse, you've proven difficult to kill once again. You may be the final girl, but this is your final act. I chose you. I chose all of you. None of you took horror seriously. Space is science fiction, or is, you know... It was always just a joke to you. Friday the 13th one with Corey Feldman? The Lost Boys did? No, it's Corey Haim. Hey, Damon! Don't you remember me? So ungrateful. I don't get it. Wait, I don't... So unworthy. Hello, Jesse. You disrespected my mentor, and you disrespected horror. You and Sam were only patsies. You meant nothing to me, but in the process, I found myself a father, a leader, a teacher. Do you know what's going on? I found the answers I had been longing for. My troubled life finally had purpose with the one man who understood me and the rules of horror. Kimmy, I don't understand. We've been together since... How'd you like to play a game? You all have been specially chosen to take part in this fully immersive experience like none other before. It's the ultimate rat head recommendation. From behind. <laughs> Horror was my life. And, ultimately, my death. I put all my brother's murder settlement money into my dream, my emporium. But no matter what I tried, it all didn't show up. I can't make ends meet. So I'm gonna make meat of your ends. Oh, you, you're gonna eat us? What? No. That's gross. I had this one thing in college when I got really drunk. I'm not allowed to run goats. Still owe my grandmother $300. Anywho, I had my targets. Now, I needed my missile. It's the Devil's Lake Impaler. Who? And with a little help from a little friend, I had my killing machine and my targets. What the hell is going on here? I saw you die. Did you? I had formed the partnership. That would define my life. You're not gonna want to follow him. I'm really surprised she lasted this long. We have to go. You have to go. And now, it's time to fulfill my legacy. And it is I who will take over his legacy once he is dead and gone. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Me. Slow down, time out, rewind. I'm like 36 years old. I got a long time to live. Well, and I work out a lot. I do kegels. 36? Oh, uh, no. Right around there. This isn't even possible. I, I don't understand what's going on. You didn't respect horror. But now, oh, you will.
What does that mean? This doesn't make any sense. Kimmy, what is going on? So they're working together? What is happening? Game over! Have the lambs stopped screaming, Papa? Have the lambs stopped screaming? Papa? I seriously need to know. I'm having friends for dinner. We may need extras. Papa? Papa?